everyone, I'm Minha Nazar and welcome back to my channel Shadow Smug, a complete art channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did this beautiful acrylic painting. So without wasting much time, let's get started. I usually use pre-primed canvases, but then I like to prep my canvas before using it. So I'm going to add a nice layer of gesso and let it dry completely. Throughout the video, I will be explaining all the colors that I used in this artwork. So don't skip the video so that you don't miss any information. I have taken a 23 by 32 inch canvas cloth that is 58 by 80 centimeter, approximately the size of an A1 sheet. If you are new to my channel, I would like to inform you that I will be posting art videos every single day on charcoal and graphite portrait works, acrylic paintings, watercolors, Arabic calligraphy and some doodles. I'll also be adding some tutorial videos and some tips and tricks videos very soon. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, now coming into today's video, it took me somewhere around 36 to 37 hours to complete this artwork and as you know, this is an acrylic painting, so I had to wait for the paint to dry completely before applying each layer. So I was working for around 8 days, little by little, to make it perfect. This was actually a commissioned work. And for those of you who are new to this channel, I would like to bring to your notice that I do work with commissioned works and you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook for more details. Links are given in the description box or you can leave a message in the comment box. My client actually wanted a portrait painting of his wife who loves Tangled. So uh, we discussed a lot on it and uh, finally picked a picture of us and started working on it. And I was so much excited in working with this. And as you see, I have speeded up the video a lot to shorten it as much as possible. I took the whole work as a time-lapse video and it was really hard to edit the whole process because there were about 139 files and the duration was about 3 plus hours. And coming into the art, as you see, I have used so many colors in this. For the background, I have used some ultramarine blue, Persian blue, some crimson red and some white. And for those glowing lanterns, I have used some titanium white, lemon yellow, golden yellow and neon orange. of the work yeah the skin tone while working with the skin tones we have to be really careful because a slight variation in the skin tone can also ruin the whole thing so take some time take some colors mix them and before applying it directly into your artwork try it somewhere else whether it matches or whether you have to adjust the colors a little more make sure it is the perfect color that you want and only then apply it to your artwork every skin tone is different so we can't tell or we can't uh, give a correct ratio of colors to be mixed 
to get a perfect skin tone. Here I have used some titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red and some persian blue. And uh, trust me, it was not easy for me to, to get into the skin tone. It might be a little difficult in the beginning, but as you get used to it, you will love it. You will love the entire process. Trust me. And for the hair part, I have used some flesh tint, some brown, white, red and yeah, I used the same colors for the rest of the work too. Like my video and if you liked it don't forget to click the like button and share it with your friends if you are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video thanks for watching see you soon in the next video goodbye take care have a nice day